Hey, what up guys? It is Sick, and today we're gonna do Final Fugue. This is one of the new missions in Lorien Song, the 30th expansion for EverQuest. Uh, I haven't actually done any of the missions yet. Uh, between last week, all the crashes and uh, trying to help figure out what those were, and I had a funeral on Friday and holiday shopping and all of that stuff. Uh, this will be my first time rolling in here. So that should be pretty fun. I do have some information, so hopefully we should be able to pretty much first pull this and be successful. Uh, let's go over to the browser, and we'll talk about this uh, for a second. So I have up EQ Resource. EQ Resource is my personal favorite place to look up stuff. I like it far better than Alakazam's and whatever. I'm not like shilling for them. They don't give me free, like I pay for their thing. Uh, but I do like it. It is, it is my like go-to spot for looking up stuff. Um, so we see here it like gives a rundown on stuff and uh, and the mission where to get it. You get it in Lorien Inn from Shallow Wayne. You say smaller, and then you got to go upstairs and click on door seven. Um, now I've pulled up here. Somebody shared in the Red Guides forum for Final Few a little conversation about it because you need a stun, and it has to be at least currently. Daybreak may change this. It has to be a stun that has a mana cost. So for example, the Beast Lord pet buff line that gives you like Cyber of Spirit or whatever, that doesn't count. Like that stun doesn't count for the purposes of the stun that you need in this mission, at least now. Nobody knows if Deep Daybreak is going to change it or whatnot. But there's a bunch of weapons that have old timey procs on them, which has those spells have a mana cost, even if the mana cost is zero, that allows you to like do this mission successfully. So here's a list of a few of them. Um, some like really easy ones to get are like Nullhide Lariat. Uh, you can go in South Karana and uh, farm those up pretty quickly. I went and farmed up, I don't know, like 20 in an hour or two. So it's pretty easy to get. Uh, the other one, which is pretty easy to make, is not on here. There's uh, an Entwined uh, Hammer. What is it called? Yeah, it's called Entwined Hammer. Uh, let me show you real quick. Mm. Why do you not want to show? There we go. Boop. All right. So here you can see the uh, this hammer here. This is crafted, so anybody can craft this. The classes that can use it are kind of weird. It's basically like no Berserkers and no Shadow Knights. So um, I actually don't have anything for my Shadow Knights, but I do have my other classes set up to be able to stun. Um, for this expansion, I'm rolling with Shadow Knight, Shaman, Bard, Rogue, Berserker, and Beast Lord. Um, the, two Beast, or the two Berserkers do just great, but uh, Rogue's got a huge bump and... Um, it's just, you know, it's nice to have the rogue around sometimes. So just been enjoying running, uh, running with that group set up. Um, but so I have some of these weapons on my rogue and my uh, bard. So, and my, uh, my shaman actually has a, a stun loadout. So what we're going to do when we get to this part in this mission is I'm just going to hit a button that says bandolier activate stun and then bandolier activate DPS for regular stuff. Now, there are emotes, so what peep folks will eventually have will eventually have like an LEM um, that'll just have everybody swap to whatever their bandolier set for stun is and then swap back and all of that jazz. But um, I haven't been in here yet. I haven't done it. I've seen it done. Uh, so we're just going to try and give it a try. Uh, let's see. I like it. It's just defeat the dude and open the chest. That sounds like my kind of mission. Um, I don't know. There we go. Um... May have been trampling. When they come, they come. Brace yourself. I'm bracing. Oh, I see some dudes. So apparently, this crew of uh, six dudes here, they're going to fight some stuff. And uh, there's going to be a couple for us to fight. So we'll we'll tag these guys. I'm going to hit my reset camp button. Um, and start fighting these dudes. Let me pull him over here. He's just chilling. All right. So 
So, uh, I'm sure I'm going to get some questions. Uh, you'll see my MQ2 SK window is with Imgui. Uh, we're working on swapping this over with a whole bunch of cool stuff um, that's not done yet. Like, you know, you'll be able to take an item, then drag it over, and then add it in there like that. Um, but that's not ready yet. When that's ready, we'll get that shipped out. We'll probably start sending that out in January, is what we're guessing. Uh, we'll probably have MQ2 Wizard out in January for pre-release, and uh, we'll probably ship that with the UI and uh, and with this. But this thing's pretty cool. It's going to allow us to do a whole bunch of other stuff, like you know, saving your setting when you click and uh, and other stuff. Okay, so I don't remember what's supposed to happen here. Like, am I supposed to help these guys? I don't want to kill the wrong ones. We're going to kill these. Blinks and returns to the expected memory. I don't know. We'll kill these guys a bit and swap. Um, as far as I know, this fight is just going to end up being like a little, it's a little boring. Um, I don't know what kind of health these guys have. My tunes have a lot of raid gear and uh, raid gear abilities um, from last expansion. I know I used to roll in with like the shittiest of shitty gear. I keep considering keeping a set of like group gear just so I can go in and do the thing and show that it's still possible. But um, that's a whole bunch of work. Okay, so they killed the two dudes that they were fighting. I, did we fail? Even though you're not sure, she even knows you are that. Okay, we got some boars. Are we fighting these boars? Let's fight these boars. Are you aching? Yup, yup, yup. For some bacon? Yup, yup, yup. You know, the, like, these guys, I don't know what race these are. I haven't checked yet, but... Their character model is pretty cool. Um, some of... Oh, look at the fox! There's a little fox! What do you think he's up to? We have some foxes around here. Uh, so I moved uh, last year. I bought five acres. And uh, hopefully in sometime next year, uh, after I've scrimped and saved and scraped my pennies, so I can do things like buy some wood for fencing, because fencing is apparently expensive, uh, hopefully we'll have some like chickens and, uh, we plan on getting, uh, a couple of sheep, probably three sheep, uh, a goat or two. And somehow we accidentally all went and looked at a cow that we fell in love with. So might have a cow next year. Pretty cool. Pretty excited about that. So can farm in game and farm out of game. Be pretty great. I do plan on doing a little video to show everybody what the what my uh, my place looks like. It's it's pretty great. It's in the middle of nowhere. I live in Maryland, and there's a what the fuck? Oh, this guy. This is like the uh, adjudicator dude from uh, Plane of War. That guy was a pain in the ass. He would just like feign death everybody and like kick everybody all over the place. And uh, I remember before starting to use uh, like before the chat with this name class plugins were around. You just get feigned, and then you're like, what the fuck? My whole group is dead. And, oh, oh, my tank is sleeping. That's why. I was a, a warrior at the time for my, like, driving tune. So I didn't have anything configured in any of, any of my automation to say, like, hey, if I'm fucking sleeping on the job, could you please stand me up? All right, let's follow these guys. I don't know where my mouse went. I lost my mouse. Running, running. Oh, we got some shit on X target. Let's turn around. There we go. Ah, Relosian Hunt. All right, I slipped out a little bit there because shit went sideways a little bit because I wasn't paying attention. And uh, I let a couple tunes die. And then the anonymize system kind of like shit the bed for a minute. Uh, but we're back. Got everybody rezzed. Um... And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be all right. Hmm. Going across the logs, going across the logs. I actually haven't been in this actual zone yet. Oh, okay. So those look like some bad dudes. I'm not going to click on them yet. A seasoned puma. Do you think that means he's got, like, salt and pepper? Or do you think that means he's, like, old? I'm going to go with salt and pepper. Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper! Somebody watching this has seen Blue's Clues. 
I was like 14 and I was like, I would like a handy dandy notebook, please and thank you. All right, this dude. I think all of these guys are pretty much like wait around until the dude does the thing that you have to stun and then you get free loot. So that's pretty cool. We all like free loot. Now, in case anybody hasn't been paying attention, uh, the there's been some pretty sweeping changes to how... I think I get like... I, I was told I can ignore that yellow dude, but it looks like he killed somebody, so that's not great. I wonder if you're supposed to, like, kill these before they kill your dudes. Um, anyhow, um, if you haven't been following along, they made some pretty sweeping changes to um, itemization with particular focus on... Uh, I'm gonna hang out here? I don't know. Can you die, please, instead of... Okay. Died? Good. Um, they made a lot of changes to what's called white weapon damage. That's like the just the baseline weapon damage itself from swinging the weapon and the weapon hitting. So like the weapon hitting, you know, the weapon criticaling, like all of that stuff. Not the proc from it, not like not uh, abilities. Um, they made white weapon damage changes. So the the damage and uh, you know because of the damage and delay, the ratio on all weapons are is fundamentally different from. Uh, NOS to LS. So even if you have raid weapons, uh, the group gear <laughs> in many instances for weapons is going to be a better choice uh, for your for your crew. So um, if you're used to going into a new expansion and not giving two shits until you get around to having um, to having like the new raid upgrades, go for raid item to raid item. You're probably going to want to take a look and see if in fact that is something that is going to be that way for uh this x-pack it's a cool little staff thing right here look at this swirly whirly um anyway i do like how they i do like how some of these dudes look this dude's yoked but like in a in a way that somebody who has never been to the gym would think he's yoked like the dude's shoulder is going to fall the fuck off Relosian Hunter. See, those don't... I can't do anything to this dude, so I'm just gonna ignore it. I only have one little guy left. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. I don't know if I'm, like, failing miserably because I'm not keeping anybody alive. Like, I don't I don't know anything. Um, but so far, this seems pretty casual. Just kind of sit back and let it happen. Alright, we got this guy. I did uh, whack the Relosian Hunter, so Yordith Ward Breaker. I think these guys, so these guys with clo- what, this- That was fucking cool, did you see that? He was like, ah. I got an MMA fighter coming in here. What size boots do you think these are? Which way is he facing? It, you dick. I don't know why I keep losing my mouse. My mouse keeps ending up on another screen, which is like really fucking me up. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so uh, my last year has been real busy just from a personal perspective on, uh, you know, moving, buying a new place, doing that whole thing. It's pretty cool, though. It's one of the really amazing things about EverQuest and what I really like about... Uh, Red guides as a community is, you know, like shit goes on, keeps going, just super great. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. I don't know what all this spam is about. Okay, so this guy, he's like, if you look here, he's red, right? So, uh, he'll go blue eventually, or something like that. Make sure this is not, um, okay, so he has his, so we're going to go to DPS Bando. So he did the car roars, pulls his shield from the back and sets his feet. So we got to swap to the DPS Bando because you can't damage him or some shit. Now what's weird is the target window still shows him as red. If I clear, it shows blue. It shouldn't have any effect on doing anything, but just if you're looking at this 
for purposes of should I like hit my bando or not, um, you probably want to. Let me make sure it's done. I apparently did not set up my bandolier swapping with for my dudes correctly. Bandolier activate stun. All right, he's finally distracted, so now we can damage again. DPS. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure if you guys could hear that, but like the rest of my family just sent me a message through a thing that I have muted sitting next to me that just told me cookies are ready. Okay, um, let's spam this stun button. Did I load? I did. And did this dude load? Okay, they did. So I must have just messed up on clicking before. Finally distracted and go back to DPS. Uh, we're gonna do a chat with this name A burn now. Burn, baby, burn. Sets his feet. Shield. Uh, we need to do the stun arena. And he's dropped his shield. I'm going to spam this button. I don't have any stun. Mm, we're just going to hang out in whatever the fuck this is. Uh, this is cool looking. So I don't have any stun weapons for the Shadow Knight. Um, so hopefully that's okay. Oh, that's right. He kicks there. It's probably a good idea to like pull him to a root or some shit. So... Um, so you know what's going on? Let's see. Dozens of arrows pierce you, feathers grazing your eyes. Oh, man, that fucking, that would feel terrible. Imagine getting shot with a, like, a bow and arrow, and you didn't, like, get murdered by it. The feathers on the, like, the fletching touch the eye. There's people right now that are just like, oh! I don't say I blame them. Uh, DPS Bando. Final fugue, and we got ourselves some loot. Uh, let's pause everybody. We'll do lootly pause. Or lootly off. I think it's that's correct. And open! What the hell? I got so much shit. I don't want all this crap. Alright, I'm gonna divvy this up and get the fuck out of here. So that mission was pretty easy. Thanks for indulging all of the talking. I do plan on doing the other mission... Um, I hear it's a whole bunch of headache and whatnot. I'll probably get, I'll probably get a couple of levels. Like I said, I wasn't around yesterday and, um, and whatnot. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. I will talk to you guys soon.